Hey guys, this is Dr. Hub. In case you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe for updates. Psychotic disorders. So let's look at some important differential diagnosis as per the DSM-5. So as per the DSM-5, the psychotic disorder it includes there's a brief psychotic disorder. So there's something known as a brief psychotic disorder. So this brief psychotic disorder it includes the sudden onset and the full term, full return or in function. So as per the brief psychotic disorder, there is a sudden onset. So there will be a sudden onset and full return of function. So there is a sudden onset as a well, full return to the function. Next will be the duration. So the duration, if you see, it will be greater than one day and it will be less than one month as well. Then we move on to the schizophreniform disorder. So schizophreniform, phreniform disorder. So as per the schizophreniform disorder, there is uh, same symptoms such as a schizophrenia. So there is same symptoms as per the schizophrenia and functional decline is not required. And the functional decline is not required. And the duration of the schizophreniform disorder, it lasts from greater than one month and less than six months so this will be the duration next we move on to the schizophrenia so as per the schizophrenia it requires a functional decline so there will be a functional decline and at least six months so at least six months will be there so at least six months six months it includes at least one month of active symptoms so one month of the active symptoms active symptoms and it can include the prox uh, the prodromal as well as residual periods so it will include the prodromal so it includes the prodromal as well as the residual periods residual periods next we move on to the schizoaffective disorder so schizoaffective disorder so schizoaffective disorder is with a concurrent mood episode. So it is with a concurrent mood episode. So there's active symptoms of the schizophrenia with at least a two week of a lifetime. So there is a concurrent mood episode. So active phase symptoms of schizophrenia with at least. So there's active phase of the schizophrenia and this lasts at least two weeks of a lifetime so it lasts at least two weeks of the lifetime and with the history of there's presence of delusions so there's presence of delusion as well as there is a hallucination so there's delusion as well as hallucination and there is an absence absence of what absence of the prominent mood symptoms so there will be absence and this is nothing but the absence of the prominent mood symptoms prominent mood prominent mood symptoms next we move on to the delusion disorders so as per the delusion disorders what we need to know is there is one or more delusions for greater than one month so there is one or more than one this is one or more delusions one or more greater than one delusions and this is for greater than one month next is there is no other psychotic symptoms so there is no other psychotic symptoms psychotic symptoms so there is no other psychotic symptoms and normal functioning apart from the direct impact of delusions so there is no other psychotic symptoms as well as the normal functioning apart apart from the direct impact delusions so there is direct impact delusions next is we look at the schizo so we saw the direct impact delusion so we look at the psychotic shared psychotic Shared psychotic disorder. 
So sad psychotic disorder is nothing but a folia dux. So it's also known as a folia dux. And there's a development of delusions in a person who is in close relationship. So there's development of delusions. And delusion in terms of close relatives. So there is in presence of the close relation. Close relation means it can be spouse, it can be child, or someone who has a delusion disorders. So it's someone who has a delusion. Delusion disorder. So this is nothing but the inducer. To learn and grow daily like this, please do subscribe. Thank you.